Galveston Bay is one of our most productive and rich uh, assets we have in this area. We are so reliant right here on the Galveston Bay for our recreational fishing, for our commercial fishing, for our uh, for our ecotourism. It brings billions of dollars into our area. Galveston Bay and the Gulf of Mexico are some of the most biodiverse places that we have in the United States. We monitor American oyster catchers. We have pelicans going over all the time. We have egrets, we have herons. We, as a community, were going out and monitoring for several years sea turtles and nesting sh shorebirds. And as we were going along, we started no noticing the plastic pollution problem. The plastic pollution that was being released in some of the cities was washing downstream through the watershed and would actually end up on the islands where the birds were nesting. Plastic water bottles, beverage containers, caps, uh, a lot of styrofoam. And then one of the biggest issues is monofilament line. And that typically comes from fishermen, uh, it, you know, just discarding their line on the ground. And the largest hazard that it causes for the birds is they get entangled in their feet. The other pieces of plastic that are a real problem are the very small bits of plastic because they break down the microplastics. They, birds will actually ingest that. We decided to take a, a multifaceted approach to actually com combating plastic pollution in the area. We know we need to get out on social media because then we can reach beyond our people, the people who actually are impact us. We also realize that when we do our cleanups, we should publicize what we do and how much we get so people can start seeing small changes cause incremental behavioral changes. When a, site, a public site is noticed with a lot of plastic, either by public reporting it or us seeing it and doing one of our assessments, uh, we select the date and ask for registration from volunteers from Galveston Bay Chapter Master Naturalist and Audubon Turn and maybe some other locations. And normally we have anywhere from 30 to 10 volunteers. In a short period of time, less than nine months, we cleaned up 3,500 pounds of plastic. We had 3,200 direct contacts with kids. We took them on trips. We had them pick up trash with us. And we also taught them, the most important thing is we told them what happens if you don't do this. If we keep on doing this, we're going to, nature will go out of balance. And when nature goes out of balance, other things happen. And we're able to see the difference uh, there's a lot less plastic pollution for us to take. We're actually able to clean up the entire islands. And then as we repeat and visit those islands, we're able to accomplish more conservation work because we're finally getting a handle on some of the plastic pollution that's been evading us for such a long time. Other organizations are coming to us and asking, can we, can we transport what you did and take it to our area and see, because it didn't cost us anything to do this, which is even more important. It's all volunteer-based, passion-led, and it gets results. Congratulations to the Galveston Bay Area Chapter, Texas Master Naturalist, the first place winner of the 2017 Gulf Guardian Award in the Civic Nonprofit category.